Amorpha fruticosa, false indigo. These are shrubs reaching 6 to 15 feet in height and often form a leggy, dense mass. These appear best when grouped together in large massings. The foliage is deciduous and alternate. The leaf shape is pinnately compound with between 13 and 33 leaflets. Individual leaflets are oval to elliptic in shape. The leaf color may be bright green or possibly a dull green. There may be a short thread-like stipule at the base of each leaflet. Ornamental features include gray to brown bark, slender and often appearing somewhat dead. The flowers are perfect, purplish-blue upright spikes in June. The flowers are not especially showy, but the color is unusual. There may be small, warty, kidney-shaped pods persisting into winter and are a good ID feature after the blooms disappear. These can become weedy in some areas. The buds are often superposed oppressed against the stem, and brownish-gray in color. Cultural information for Amorpha fruticosa. These are hardy in zones 4 to 9, do best in full sun, but will tolerate part shade. They prefer a soil pH between 5 and 8 or acidic to alkaline conditions. Pests and insects are not usually a problem for Amorpha fruticosa. They are native in Iowa, across the USA, and Canada. Durr mentions that there are not a lot of great uses for this plant, although I have seen it becoming more commonly used in bioswales and rain gardens, in areas that tolerate water or poor soil conditions. In other words, this can be a tough plant for a tough place. These are members of the Fabaceae, or the pea family, and do associate with nitrogen-fixing bacteria. A spelling tip for Amorpha fruticosa. Note, it is not fruit ecosa. It's fruticosa. There is a T before an I.